Whenever you sign a contract with a professional photographer for any sort of photography services, there's likely a section in that contract that outlines exactly what the usage rights are for you as the client in terms of what you're able to do with those photos once they've been given to you by the photographer. In many instances with a family portrait or a wedding, you're given personal usage rights, which means you can use those images like it sounds, for personal use, you can reproduce them to send copies to grandma, um, or you can hang them up in your own home, but you wouldn't necessarily be allowed to sell those images to a magazine, let's say, for a profit. So when you sign a contract with me for brand photography or personal brand photography, there's a similar section that outlines exactly what you are and are not able to do with your images once I turn them over to you. So I thought today we would go through those bullet points just so there's a clear understanding of what you are and aren't allowed to do with your images under my commercial use license. Hi, my name is Dawn and I'm the owner and photographer with Dawn Aiello Photography. We work with small businesses and entrepreneurs to create the images and videos they need to visually represent their brand. So I wanted to touch base with you all about what you would be allowed to do with your images once I turn them over to you after our brand photo shoot. So number one big difference between this shoot and any personal shoot you might have done is that you are in fact allowed to use these images to advertise your business. Otherwise, why would we be here, right? So you are allowed to use these images in whatever way you see fit to advertise your business. The next thing that you're able to do is you are able to edit the images. I understand that you have a brand aesthetic that is already established and that you want these images to fit in with that aesthetic. So that means you're able to take the images that we create together and add whatever Lightroom preset or maybe filter that you like to use. Maybe you only advertise in black and white, so you want to convert all the images to black and white. You have the authority to do those things under our commercial use license. Another thing that you're able to do is create derivative works out of our photos. So let's say you want to take your photo and add a text overlay on it. Let's say you want to take that photo and add it into a graphic that is advertising your upcoming speaking engagement. All of these things are completely fine during the commercial use license. You are able to sub-license your images that we've created together depending on three scenarios. So in one way that you're able to sub-license your images to another company or organization is if it's to promote your business. So let's say you're entering into some sort of joint marketing venture or let's say it is for some sort of affiliate marketing where you need photos that represent you because wh whoever you're giving them to is using them exclusively to promote your business. That is completely allowable. Um, I do want you to be able to participate in things like that and maintain the consistency we've established by having a, a nice cohesive gallery of images for you to work with. Another way you're able to sublicense your images is if it's to promote your appearance at an event. So let's say you're going to be speaking at an upcoming conference or um, let's say you are hosting a workshop at a certain organization. Any of those reasons, anytime that you're going to be present at an event and you're making some sort of appearance that ties back to you and your business, you are free to use those images, send them to those external organizations for them to use and include in their own marketing regarding the event. The third way you're able to do that is if you are making an appearance on someone's digital platform of some sort. So whether you're going to be a guest blogger or you're going to be a guest on a podcast, any things like that, you're able to take images from our gallery and deliver those to those outside organizations, those other companies that you'll be working with, so that they can use it to promote you and your business. So you kind of see the, the pattern we're going through here. If the end result is to promote you and your business, then it's likely going to fall under an approved usage in the contract. One other thing that I wanted to talk about in terms of what you are able to do with your images is you are able to post them without crediting me or my business. I know a lot of family photographers or wedding photographers ask that anytime you post your images online, you need to be tagging the company page or the photographer in your post. 
And that is completely fine because that's a method for that photographer to promote their business. You're using those images for your personal use, so there isn't any conflict in that way. However, when you're using these images as a business, there starts to develop a conflict. So let's say you're putting money into a Facebook ad and you're going to be using one of my images that I've created for you in your Facebook ad. I want to make sure that your audience is completely focused on you and your business and that your dollars are not going towards promoting me and my business. That's just distracting for your, your customers and I don't want to add that pressure for you. So feel free to use these images without crediting me or my company. Now, that being said, if you ever feel like there is an appropriate time and you want to, you're more than welcome to. It's just not a requirement in any way, shape, or form. There are a couple of things that you're not able to do with your images, and I just wanted to run through them really quickly. One, you're not able to sell your images to a third party. So the images that we created that I delivered to you, those are for you to use in your advertising but they're not for you to go then turn around and sell them to third parties and make a profit off of them in that way. The second thing is you're not able to use these images in affiliation with any sort of illegal business activity. Those are kind of the two main restrictions that we've set forth in the contract in terms of things you are not able to do with your photos. So I hope that was helpful for you in understanding what you can do with your photos once you have them so you can edit them you can make derivative works, you can sub-license them to help promote your business, and you can use them without worrying about uh, calling attention to me or my company on social media or on your website. If you are looking for more creative ways to use your images or maybe different ideas that you haven't considered yet, go check out my video on what to do with your photos once you have them. I go through some ideas of how you can use your photos on different social media and online platforms that maybe you hadn't considered yet. So I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more videos about how to use images and videos in your business, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.